By the way, there will be no standing for this presentation. In fact, I want you to slouch even deeper into your chairs and let the Florida flow over you. The reasons for which will become clear very, very shortly. And I'm here basically to say that Florida man and Florida woman are not embarrassments. They are actually going to help us make the 21st century the Floridian century. And I'm going to start by talking about the word superhero. It was first coined in the year 1917, which also happens to be the year that the United States entered World War I, stepping into the path where it would eventually become a superpower. That is not a coincidence. Now, in the year 2013, a Twitter account was created to mock Florida Man, calling him the world's worst superhero. I say, ignore worst, but think of Florida Man as a superhero. At the very least, he's already accomplished one thing, and that is he has changed Florida's reputation. We are no longer God's waiting room. We are now America's drain pipe for weirdos. And in a moment, I'm going to explain why that's a great thing. But first of all, let's talk about the earliest superhero, and that is Superman. Like most Floridians, Superman is not from here. He's from the planet Krypton. He came here on a rocket ship. Florida man and Florida woman are also largely not from here. They came here on a Greyhound bus. Now, both Superman and Florida man are going through the hero's journey. The, the only difference is that with Superman, we get to see the entire journey. With Florida Man, we only see that moment of despair at the bottom because that's all we ever see in the news stories. Now, there is a movie-making Bible called Save the Cat, check it out on Amazon, and he talks about this phase called the long dark night of the soul, but after that comes redemption. That always happens in the movie to the hero. Superman himself is solar powered. He's powered by sunshine. That's how he gets his strength. Florida man is also powered by sunshine. That sun gives us a wonderful tropical climate that also makes it a wonderful place for us to live in. Florida's flat geography is also great for Florida man because it's nice and easy to push a shopping cart with everything you own when there are no hills. <laughs> the other great thing about Florida is that without four months of winter, you have 12 entire months in which to cause mischief and to get into all kinds of activities, a lot of which are involved nudity. But guess what? That also works for us as well. Then finally, uh, Officer Jane will know this, is one of the things that gives Florida man his powers is sunshine laws. Since 1909, we have an open government law which makes it easy for any news organization to look up the police blotter and find interesting news stories. But that also allows us to look into what's going on in the government. In fact, even unofficial meetings have to be registered with the media. If other states had open laws, we would see their embarrassing people as well. Case in point on the screen. And then I'd like to talk about other states. There is a state, California, very successful, a lot of overlap with Florida. They have sun and oranges and Disney and the military and the aerospace industry and a fantastic natural resource called weirdos. Ever since the gold rush, then rock and roll in Hollywood and self-help and now Silicon Valley, California has been profiting and prospering thanks to weirdos. There are communities all over now who are trying to brand themselves as weirdo friendly. And you know why? Because weirdos are a very important part of the creative class, a concept brought to us by Dr. Richard Florida. See what I did there? And that's because they understand that winning isn't normal. You have to do weird stuff to win. Now, I need to talk about supervillains. If we have a superhero, we must therefore have supervillains. The interesting thing about supervillains is they're not all that different from the heroes. Uh, Thor fights other Norse gods. Captain America's enemies are other super soldiers. Iron Man's enemies are other rich white guys. <laughs> Florida Man's enemy is somebody who embraces weirdness but makes better life choices. Which brings me to the point, who should Florida Man supervillains be? Somebody who does something not normal. Probably you. Normal is going home and watching TV. Weird is participating in community events like this. So here's the thing. You are Florida Man supervillains. Go out there and take over the world. And now, the song. 
Florida man, Florida woman, does whatever a Florida can. Are they weird? Listen, bud. They've got greatness in their blood. Look out. There goes a Florida man. Thanks very much.